everyone, Eric here from LaughFix, back at it again, another repair. It is getting so dark outside at this time, especially this is later in the day, a little bit darker later. You probably know it's a little bit later in our time. It's like, what, 5 o'clock now? But anyways, uh, we have um, here a MacBook A2141. This nice 16 inch, you can see how big it is too. I have to hold it with two hands here. And um, it's interesting so this one is in here uh it was getting five volts about 0.29 amps i'm not gonna be showing the measurements because we did take a look we see there's a liquid spill we don't want to be doing anything crazy outside of that right so it's really interesting this one actually the customer wasn't aware that there was a liquid spill and then when they were aware there they wanted a picture of the damage and they because they wanted to see how easy it was to fix it uh, sometimes when there's especially there's there's liquid damage there it's going to be giving certain things sometimes you have a board we actually showed before where it's corroded all over the place and then sometimes it can actually turn on but maybe the solder is still intact and that's why it's still turning on and it's very dangerous in those type of situations uh, especially when there's that much damage um, these ones are going to be showing you just uh, just not too long I'll probably just have to remove the board because I already do see part of the the damage here but you always know the repairs never are what they seem some of them can be more surface uh, damage and that's the videos we sometimes make videos and then we're like well it's gonna be a boring video anyway so we're not gonna go ahead and show that some of the ultrasonic videos just aren't fun either because it's you guys need to be a little bit excited at least for unless there's some type of extreme damage that we like to show um but we always like show an actual repair so let's actually take a look i'll show you guys real quick and then i'll probably open it up because you guys want to get to it right we want to get to it too so let's go ahead and look under the microscope and see what is going on there let's see if i pop it here I know it's close to this area. Uh, there's your little CD3217B12 right next to it. And we got some corrosion there. Now, this is going to be a fun one, isn't it? Because this is what, people? This is a BGA chip, and that's never fun. It's not a typical type of uh, chip that has some little legs on the side there, which come up pretty easily, and you can put them back pretty easily. These ones have little balls underneath. You can, uh, let's get a better angle. I can probably show you guys at a better angle. It'll be easier if I just remove the board, right? But I'm too lazy at this time of the day, and, you know, I'm trying to see what's going on. We're going to do a little bit, but I want to show you guys first because it's fun. See that? So there's corrosion underneath there. Let's see if we can show you guys the little solder balls. That's, okay, I can't show it that well. Let me just go ahead and <laughs> remove the board. Probably make it a lot easier. So here it is. This is where the liquid spill is. This is not a good area that you want this to hit. This area, see those two Texas instruments? One of them goes bad, nothing works. So here we go. So this is, I believe, uh, the one that actually sends vultures to the NAND there. Uh, it's bad, especially if the liquid got impacted in this area. Uh, let's flip it over real quick, let me see. And I got some corrosion. This is more surface, doesn't look too bad. Uh, let me see that one resistor, but eh, it's not too, too bad there. More just surface damage. Um, obviously you can see these are little NAND chips there too. I want to have liquid there. It's not good. Let's see it down around this area. Anywhere else? All right. Um, there's something a little bit close to this one. Let's see if this I see. Well, you guys can't see. You still kind of see the solder ball. So looks. Hopefully that's good. Maybe we can just do a reflow there. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to do a replacement for it. Let's actually get the board view. Let's go bring it up. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Let's go bring it out. So this is your board. And uh, yes, we got the board here. And there's your two ICs. And here's your U9500, right? Yep. This is sending voltage out to the NAND. See, PV2V5 NAND SSD. SSD, SSD, SSD. Yep. Oh man, you gotta love that system alive. You love that. So let's go ahead and work on it and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so let's start on the easier part first. Uh, this is just more surface damage. Uh, it looks to be pretty healthy for the most part. Just gonna do a little bit of a cleanup here. We're also going to be, um, first we're gonna be obviously doing this a uh, little bit of alcohol here. We're gonna be cleaning it up. I'm gonna be using a Q-tip to, to get around there. But the solder seems to be pretty much intact. I'm really worried about that resistor though that was really heavily impacted there. Uh, so we're gonna be putting some f um, flux here and then we're also gonna be using some of the hot air. Let's just get around the area, clean up a little bit better and then help that solder to reattach. 
Uh, I know I pushed the board up here a little bit. I'm pretty sorry on that one, but I want to make sure I actually do this right. I know I got so focused on doing the repair here. I just want to make sure I do this right. But that one resistor, what I'm actually doing here is since there's flux there, I'm putting a little bit of solder there. and I'm, all, I'm touching up the solder that's on the resistor there to make sure that it's making a good contact because I don't believe it does need to be replaced. It just needs to be cleaned up and just retouched up a little bit there. So I'm doing that. And again, I'm sorry about... Uh, obviously pushing the camera out of the way there. But now we want to get back to the U9500. Now what I'm actually doing here is I'm going to clean this up first. I'm going to clean up the air. I don't want to push any of the extra dirt and grime around it. Um, I just want to be touching it up a little bit with a, with a Q-tip with a little bit of alcohol on it. And then uh, what we're going to actually be doing is I just want to make sure that I'm actually going to put just this direction on the ultrasonic first uh, before I actually get into a little bit more because I, I don't want that uh, any anything that's actually underneath the chips themselves especially since this is a bga we'll make sure it's clean first so now we're back from the ultrasonic and you can see it's all pretty cleaned up well but it's not going to be good enough because obviously there's other stuff going on there so anything that was under there it's definitely going to be a lot cleaner than it was before but i want to make sure that I, I, the solder is going to be reattached so i'm going to be adding a little bit of flux here and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to use, use the hot air and this is going to help uh, reattach any of the solder that goes underneath there now i want to be really really careful about that so i want to give it a slight touch um, when you see that, I'm going to move it about right here. You're going to see it's, it's getting really loose there. And when you touch it, that means the solder was loose. Now it's going to reattach there. We'll make sure it's cleaned up very, very, very well. Um, and we're also, uh, I didn't really show it, but we're doing the same thing on the one of the IC chips because they were just a little bit damaged there. But um, yeah, now we're going to actually go ahead and test it. You can actually see it gets 5 volts and then it switches to 20 volts, which is what we want. And there's getting a little bit of current there. Um, we do on both sides of the USB-C here. We want to make sure it's fine, but it looks to actually be pretty good. So um, this one does need a battery. So you actually need to, to so when I plug in, it's charging the battery, which is good. At least it's getting the voltage there. You can see that there's 20 volts there. So it looks to be pretty good. Our battery is actually charging. Um, it took a little while. Obviously these, the 16 inch ones actually take a while too, because they have to have a battery connected. You have to charge the battery and then it gives enough percent for at least to turn on. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on fixing the MacBook Pro 16 inch. This isn't that nice M1 Pro, M1 Pro Max model, but it's still a nice one, this A2141. I believe it's what, a 2019 model. It's in here, it has a touch bar still. We were able to do a fix for it, so everything's working. Everything looks to be pretty good. You can see liquid spill, liquid damage, what it does to it. That's why I always try not to use it, especially if you spilled something on it. Turn it off right away, take it in for repair, we got your back. So, hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.